The Dopfer A145 LFO is a low-frequency oscillator, produces cyclical control voltages in various frequencies and waveforms. The module has five outputs, one reset input, one frequency knob and a switch to choose frequency range. From the outputs five waveforms are available, sawtooth, inverted sawtooth, sine, triangle and square wave. The two LEDs are frequency indicators, one for the sawtooth waves and one for the triangle and sine waves. The frequency knob is used to control the LFO's frequency. With the frequency range switch you can choose between three frequency ranges, low, medium and high. The reset in is the input for synchronization. Let's look at the different waveforms using Wardax data. The first one is the inverted sawtooth and the next is the sawtooth. The first LED is the indicator for the two sawtooth waves. The third output is the sine wave. As we increase the frequency, we can see that the sine wave is not quite perfect, with a tiny break at the peaks. This has no practical significance, at lower frequencies it is almost imperceptible. The next output is the triangle wave. The second LED indicates the sine and triangle outputs. And the last output is the square wave. Now take a look at the different frequency ranges. When the switch is set low, the LFO cycle can last up to several minutes, range is about from 0.005 Hz up to 5 Hz. In the middle position you can use an average LFO range from 0.1 Hz up to 50 Hz. And at high position the LFO works in audio range from 10 Hz up to 4.5 kHz. Let's see how to synchronize the LFO via the reset input. The reset can be activated by a trigger or a gate signal, which means that if a signal is received on the reset input, the LFO will restart the waveform from the starting point. There are several ways to activate the reset, the most common being to connect the gate output of your keyboard to it or another LFO, a clock module, or an end of cycle signal from an envelope generator, so you have a really wide range of possibilities. This time we will use the square wave output of another LFO. Data's blue signal is the modulating signal, which activates the reset when high, clearly visible in the upper green one. So when the reset signal is received, the LFO restarts the signal from zero. One of the most common uses of reset is when you want the signal that modulates the filter to always reset when you press a key on your keyboard. Various LFOs are one of the most commonly used modulation signal sources in modular synthesizer systems. It can be used to control the amplitude of the VCA, the cutoff and resonance of the VCF, the frequency of the VCO, and pulse width modulation, among other things. A lot of modules have multiple CV inputs through which you can modulate parameters with the LFO signal. Take the mutable instrument plates module for example, all knobs have CV inputs, three even have their own attenuators. Well, we have reviewed the most important informations about the Dopfer A145 LFO module and I will show you how it works in different patches in later videos. I hope my video has helped you learn new things. If you have any questions or suggestions, please post them below in the comments section. If you would like to see more tutorial videos, Please help my channel grow by liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.